My name's Peter Ayton. Oh, it's got a ready whenever. Right from when I was an undergraduate, I was sort of inducted with the idea that the laboratory experiment in psychology was the gold standard methodology for acquiring knowledge. But I'm now beginning to appreciate that there are other approaches which have some advantages indeed over the laboratory experiment. So for example, I can't offer very high incentives in my laboratory experiments in order to see how that affects how people behave. But as an alternative, what I can do is I can study how people behave under high incentives in circumstances in the real world. For example, TV game shows. People there are making choices under sometimes extremely high incentives. One of the TV shows that I've looked at is Deal or No Deal. And the nature of that show does offer some specific opportunities for examining particular psychological hypotheses. And what we've been able to show is that whilst people's happiness is influenced by how much money they win, it's also very strongly conditioned by how much money they discover they could have won. That has you know, direct resonance with, with people's experience in everyday lives. It's been shown, for example, that people's satisfaction with their income varies as a function of the people they compare their incomes with. The sort of recent explosion in the availability of big data and all this digital information that's so easily obtainable and manipulable is offering all sorts of wonderful opportunities to people like me who are trying to study behavior under more realistic circumstances than can be achieved in the laboratory.